collected from outside all the garbage mm -hmm. and they come here separating the garbage and sell the materials to the trader like you see the aluminium cans we sell it to this trader and trader making one pallet of cans of aluminium where, where are they selling this? they selling here in Cairo but after they melt it they sell it to outside like England also China many cans we take it this materials from us you mean like the aluminium yeah nice nice the expensive one really aluminium and cover ah okay yeah, nowadays one kilogram of aluminium 55 Egyptian pound what the story behind these uh, pigeon towers the people here they uh, they like it this, okay. is, this is like hobby it's like my hobby mm -hmm. yeah they, they are hobby this one and they making like game together racing and combination with other people mm -hmm. have a vision towers from outside and they oh. they leave the bird outside the bird came back to home okay here, here they are working for cardboard they have big compressing machine here, compressing mm -hmm. to make big pallet of uh, cardboard and the car came from outside, from Alexandra and take this to the factory to make a new cardboard okay like this in the 70s, when we came no water, no electricity, no houses, no anything just a diesel and the garbage collectors start to make small houses from wood and metal like tanks small and they live in the garbage and uh, garbage and the mountain of garbage mm -hmm. and snakes scorpion uh, buffalo cows and pigs and no water no electricity no houses no anything step by step some people come to serve in the community like Father Saman passed away from 40 days now and Dr. Laila Rashid Islam and also Sir Manuel she is a nun she came from France she came to serve in my community she built here hospital she was have a contact with the government to get water to get also electricity to start to build the houses for the people here she was helping us here building the houses and she paid money to the man to build and she paid like we are paying like 20 percent and she paid the last in the past not now and my community, it, my community, it was no one, no aid, because we live in, inside the mountain. And when we came from Mbaba to here, it was so difficult time for us to live. If we need some water, we have tank, big tank, and we have a, a donkey, and like a donkey car, but in tank on, and take it, go outside to Al Hussein or Khan Al Khalili to get water from there to here to drink. And all my people in my community, it was not working very good in the end of the story, uh, in the beginning of the story. But when they start to work hard, they build all this community. So the community is Christian? Yes. Uh, almost 100%. Yeah, like two or three percent maximum Muslim living between us and working in the same business we are working here. And the Quran, this one, taking the bullet and big Iskania come to take like 20 tons of cardboard from this place. Okay. Going to collect the garbage from outside to here. And after he bring it, his woman and his child, they are separating the garbage and they separating the organic which they feed the pigs from the organic waste. And after that, 
after the pigs eat organic waste, the, the also the shit of the pigs we use it as a compost or fertilizer. Ah, okay. So every nothing is got wasted. Yeah. We're gonna recycle everything. This is gonna be the factory. Yeah, I take you inside the factory. Okay. Show you how to can recycling the plastic bags. All right. This is the problem for all the world, but not a problem for Egyptian people. Let's see. Yeah. They come from Abu Dhabi to work to collect the garbage by accident, by luck. Mm -hmm. When they come in the train, they meet some people. It's called Oasis people. The Oasis people this is the owner of garbage in Cairo. They mm -hmm. collected the garbage and put it in the desert and throw it. And after that, they take it this to you know the pool, public pool. Mm -hmm. Public bowl and the places for making food like uh, beans and different food. They use the garbage after growing as an energy. This is in the 70s, not wow. now. Okay. Now we have a uh, petroleum. Why we use it, the garbage? And after that, when the petroleum comes to the world in the year, we will leave it the garbage and they don't, don't use it as an energy. And the Oasis people has big, have big problem and they can't do nothing with it. One of us, when we came from our Egypt, by luck he sitting in, in a van or uh, in, a, in a cafe, like he came, he by train and he's sitting in the station, small cafe in the station, mm -hmm. and he hear the story about the Oasis people and he said to him no problem I can fix your problem they said 
how he said to him I just came from upper Egypt now I'm on or originally now I'm Egyptian but from upper Egypt they said to him what is your idea he said to him I will buy some animals like buffalo cows and also uh, pigs and all this garbage I took it the non food I bought it I, I sell it uh -huh. and the organic waste I feed it the animals by organic waste this is the good idea from this man and the story of the garbage collectors started from this moment they take him to Giza and after a while all the people he bring all his family and friends from our Egypt to work with him in Giza and start the story of the garbage collectors in Giza but one day he took his donkey car and stay in front of Villa Um Kalsum in Zamalek you know Um Kalsum? Um Kalsum like famous singer in Egypt okay yeah and the donkey car every day met shit in front of the villa Mukalsum. And she was no Gamal Abdel Nasser, the president of Egypt. And he, she said to him, How come this donkey car of garbage collectors every day come stay in front of my villa and making shit here? Please move him from Giza to another place. He moved us from Giza to here. But we move it before like five or six times in different places like Esbet El Wald, Esbet El Khayyat, Mbaba and after Mbaba we came here to Manchayat Nasser here it's called Manchayat Nasser we said in English city of recycling or garbage city or Mukattam Garbage Valley we have many names for my community In 2011, we are Christian. We thought after the revolution, we have a voice to speak to all the world. But we heard about one church in Atria in 2011 in Giza. The brother Muslim would go inside the church, cutting the Bible, putting under under his leg, and killing the priest and firing the church. And after that, my friend. We are making here in my community like small revolution and we want to go to directly to Tahrir Square or Masbir Square. When we go, people come to the seven area, they are Muslim, they come to fight us in my community and starting to fight from 11 in the morning until 5 or 6 at night. And they killing nine person of my community, people from my community, they kill him, nine person. One of them is my brother, their brother, they killed him. And I called the, 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 the car from the hospital to, to come to get him to the hospital. And I said to him, please come. He said, are you Christian, Christian or Muslim? I said a Christian. He tell me directly, leave him die. Leave him die, dead. I take you on one uh, to do. Okay.
<laughs> we are going to see the Dreaming Towers with my friends in Kattam Garbage City. Good luck and win the Mishul Thailand. Just my knee a bit, you know. I told you about the accident yesterday. I was actually a bitch for them. Yeah. Sugar. I was a little shocker. Because of the shisha, my friend. Yes. Too much shisha. We'll go up here. Where? Oh, cool. Ala Grollo! Folks, huh? Nice. I'm at Lalo, bus. Hello, go, go. Oh, me? That's all right. Oh, me, bus. Oh, me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? This way. What that? Here. Come. Oh. So these are your birds. Are they coming back when you call them? <laughs> How old are these stuffs, these towers? Three years. Oh, so this is a new one. Yeah. And what are they doing? They have exactly? before, like six years before. He made a small houses for beer. Mm -hmm. He made one before this and broke it, and he made this a new. I broke it, you mean like it's collapsed? Yeah. No, nice. they broke it, they <laughs> fuck it. Ah, okay. And broke it, and they build it one stronger. Ah, okay. What are they doing with the birds? The, the birds, features? they are like making combination, as I told you, or also some racing. Okay. Racing the bird, and they fighting, and he pick, they pick some, another different bird from another vision mm -hmm. and you want to take your bird you come here he said give me money I take you your bird you don't give money I don't give you the bird ah, okay. The flu comes from this, but it's not coming from this. 
coming from the people to the base. The story in a Mexique, when the people have farm, he have also the man have a white a swine flu, and he go to feed the pigs. The pigs is, is getting the swine flu from the man, from from the a human, not from the animal. They start to kill the pigs in my community. Comes to beg the, the to beg the pigs and kill. And the people fight him, my community, fight the government because they taking the resource of the income for us. Because when we feed the pigs, we get it money. Pigs producing small pigs, and if my pharmacy have twenty, after a while have like hundred. 200 bigs and this is good business for us for me to sell the meat of the bigs to the people so the, <coughs> so the government killed all of the yeah, pigs and they kill it they, they kill all the bigs and what happened afterwards what happened nowadays you have a big okay because after big big bigs mubarak leaves you know mubarak the president before the cc yeah after he leave Already we keep some bigs down under the ground. We're making small this under the ground. What is the bigs in? And we feed it and the bigs start producing. We get it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> we get a new, a new bigs of bigs. And the story came again. After revolution 2011, we said to all the world, now we have a big because the big bigs leave Mubarak and we get a smaller bigs again.